Uh, Tracy, what were you doing this morning between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m.? Uh, I got up at 6.30, so before that I was sleeping. Okay. Mm -hmm. And during that entire two-hour time block, part of which you were sleeping, mm -hmm. the great Rod Hill, of course, was delivering a terrific forecast on KGW News at Sunrise. It starts at 4.30, you know. Oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> but then the show really picks up at 5 when yes. the, uh, the Out and About segment makes its appearance. And today oh, on Sunrise, yes, we launched a brand new summer-long series during KGW News at Sunrise. We call it Drew at the Zoo. Catchy. And, yes, thank you. And for this report, we throw it out to Drew in the field. Oh, I love Drew. Thank you very much, Drew in the studio. We are behind the scenes this morning at the Oregon Zoo, hanging out with the zoo's Humboldt penguin colony. Uh, they call the zoo home, and we will visit the zoo every Tuesday this summer on KGW News at Sunrise. This morning was our first behind-the-scenes visit. We call it Drew at the Zoo. We also have Gwen at the zoo here this morning. Gwen Harris is the senior bird keeper at the Oregon Zoo. So how about a factoid? Something about these Humboldt penguins we may not realize just by looking at them, Gwen. Well, when you think about penguins, you think about them being in Antarctica on ice floes, but these guys are native to warmer environments. They're actually from Chile and Peru, where they're, they live in coastal deserts where it's quite warm. And what are we feeding them this morning for a, a late morning brunch? This is one of their favorites. It's silver sides. It's a small schooling fish. It's one of the types of the fish that they get. While you feed the penguins, I'm going to introduce another species here at the zoo. She is the Krista Swan. <laughs> uh, Krista, I'm bringing you into the mix because right now the Oregon Zoo is backing a project to help save the endangered African penguin, a close cousin of the Humboldt penguin. Uh, there's a Kickstarter campaign right now in place. I'll let you explain how the Kickstarter campaign works. Sure. So the African penguins are endangered because the guano, the poop that they use to build their nests, has all been harvested by humans. So a bunch of zoos and aquariums have gotten together and our scientists and researchers have come up with a solution and it's to build artificial nest boxes. We've tested them at different zoos and aquariums. They're all ready to go. We just need the public to help us and invest in the nest. That's the name of the Kickstarter campaign and by doing so you can actually claim some great rewards and some exclusive penguin paraphernalia that you can have for yourself. For example in my hand I hold a painting created by the penguins here at the zoo. Uh, you can earn one of these by investing in the nest as Krista just mentioned. So the Kickstarter campaign if you want to find where that is you can go to my Facebook page. Right now there's a picture posted there me and a penguin and just below the picture you'll find a link to that Kickstarter page where you can support the African penguins and again walk away with this fine incentive the penguin painting courtesy of the Oregon Zoo that's it from here back to Drew in the studio and his other Portland Today friends why would I get up at five when I can see it here at 11? That's a good point. Yeah, Don't exactly. bring that up too loudly, okay, please. Okay, great. Okay, good point. Hey, everybody's heading out on hikes on these beautiful mm. days.